for everyone knows what science They have a built-in, faraway look in their eye, and they explain what everyone knows in ways that no one understands. The science department at SMS disagrees with the above description. And in the scenes to follow, we'd like to give you a close-up of scientists and their work so that you may form your own opinion. We'd like to give you an idea of the training that these students you see entering the science building are obtaining. Furthermore, we would like to give you a glimpse of some of the careers for which you will be qualified after you complete your major in one of the fields of science at Southwest Missouri State. Everybody talks about the weather, but nobody does anything about it. A popular saying, but not quite true. You can study it, record its various phases, chart it, learn its patterns, and learn to predict it. These students are members of Dr. Italic's class in meteorology. Right now, he's showing them how to read and manipulate such things as a barograph, a hydrothermograph, and a sling psychrometer. Imposing names, but you need them to find out about the air pressure, relative humidity, and temperature. As you can see, you will have an opportunity to become a qualified meteorologist. In addition, the Division of Geology and Geography is prepared to educate geologists, geographers, cartographers, and teachers of geography. We promise to show you how you could use the knowledge obtained in your science career at SMS. Let's go out to the Weather Bureau and see how you'd fit into a well-paying position. You know how to use the instruments on the control tower there. This large balloon used for plotting winds aloft is no mystery to you. And this might be you plotting the data obtained with the aid of the balloon. Looks like a Captain Video flight panel, doesn't it? Just weather instruments you'll be using to help you predict what tomorrow's weather will be. Weather well, must be important if you have to know all these things about it. Let's ask CC just how important it is. The weather is the most important factor in the commerce of the nation. Because on it depends the profits and products of agriculture, the main source of our national wealth, the temple of overland communication, and the safety of ships in the air and on the sea. The control tower and airport remind me of some things that may be of interest to you in the physics department. Some of you may want to major in physics at SMS. Take this oscilloscope, which you'll learn about, for example. What good is it, besides being an interesting-looking toy? Lots of good. As a matter of fact, they tested your television set with it before it left the factory. What good is it? Take another look at the control tower. Many of these instruments work on similar principles. Electronics is an important phase of modern physics. We need physicists to keep the planes, like this one, up in the wild blue yonder. Exactly what is physics? What sort of things would you study with a physics major? Not too easy to answer, but a glance at a textbook ought to help. Mechanics, heat, sound, electricity, and light. Try a lesson or two in physics with us. See how you like it. Somebody has to go on from where Enrico Fermi left off. It may be you. This is an inclined plane where wooden balls are being used to demonstrate the relationship between distance, acceleration, and time as expressed in that formula written on the board. Can you make a comfortable living rolling croquet balls down a wooden trough? Probably not, but turbojet designers, dividers of calculators, and telephone research men who understand this and other simple statements of physical principles certainly do. We've suggested that scientists are thought to be, well, bluntly, nuts. I suspect that this sort of thing is one of the contributing factors. Here are two students working with a force table and adding three and four and getting five. Absolutely crazy, aren't they? Yet if you have ever hung a picture, balanced a teeter-totter, or glued up a corner cupboard, 
you were engaged in the same or a similar series of crazy additions. Here the professor is demonstrating some of the features of gyroscopes. Nice toys too. Looks like this one even has the prof a little confused. Here's one you can do at home. Take the wheel off your brother's bike, start it spinning, and try to lift it. Another gyroscope, actually. And now I see that these aren't toys either. They demonstrate some of the basic physical laws you'll use if you become a pilot. The man that runs this airplane, then, has to have a background in basic physics. From the control tower to the pilot, from the bridge builder to the designer of the automobile which travels across it, there are interesting and well-paid futures for physicists in industry. Down the hall from the physics department is the division of chemistry. This might be your choice of a science career. It's an especially good choice for the need for chemists in our surrounding area even closer to home, as we'll show you in a moment. This is a view of the General Chemistry Laboratory at SMS. As an aside to the males in the audience, we can't guarantee a smile like this in each chemistry class, but then you may want to keep your mind on your studies anyway. Here are some of the rather complicated pieces of equipment that you will use as advanced chemistry students. You're looking at a photolometer. Next is a potentiometer, and following that a polarimeter. This is the sort of equipment used in industry for production control and research. This is only a sample of the expensive instruments which are available for student use. You will learn with the aid of the best in materials, supplies, and equipment throughout the science department at Southwest Missouri State College. lots of fun to watch the trains go by. You may have been unaware that chemists are important in keeping those trains going. Speaking of careers in chemistry close to home, let's check in at the Frisco Laboratory and find out what a test tube has to do with a freight train. This is Mr. Herzog, chief testing engineer in charge of the Frisco Labs, an individual who has chosen a career in science. One of the important things in keeping the freight rolling is lubrication. As long as the oil holds up, the train can go. You're looking at a series of chemical tests of the oil to determine the proficiency of the locomotive engine. Having checked out all right, this diesel can keep on going without having to be pulled into the shops for time-consuming work. Here's another example of chemistry in action. These people are determining the amount of lead in the lubricating oil. I think you're beginning to see that there are others in addition to the engineer that keep the train going. There are other types of engineers, too chemical engineers, for example. If your erector set has always been your favorite toy, you're probably interested in engineering. 
Did you know that you can obtain your pre-professional training at Southwest Missouri State? Through a plan worked out in cooperation with the Missouri School of Mines, work taken at SMS is fully accredited at Rolla. We don't like to brag too much, but it must be rather good work that you get here. It has been commonplace in recent years that the top graduating student at the School of Mines has been one who began his engineering education at SMS. Remember that potentiometer you learned to use in the chem lab? Here's a similar one in use in industry. Glad you got a chance to learn about that particular piece of equipment, aren't you? All materials used by the railroad must be checked to see that they meet specifications. Here, for example, is a series of pictures demonstrating the method of carbon determination in a sample of steel from this U-bolt. It is possible that you could know absolutely nothing about chemistry and still perform this determination. Just like a cookbook, follow the recipe. Why make a career in chemistry then? Because when it comes to interpretation of results, when it comes to new and better methods of determination, when it comes to better specifications of material to handle a job, then a thoroughly trained, well-educated chemist is a must. That's the job you want if you're planning a career in chemistry. Our leading chemists and other scientists, too, began planning their careers in high school. They got the background of mathematics, English, and science in order to be ready to take up their collegiate careers with no handicaps. This is an important fact for you to remember if you plan a career in science. There goes the train, and now you know that careers in science are equally as important as the engineer at the throttle in making it go. Did you happen to take a look at that roadbed on which the train traveled, or did you get a look at the railroad bank? That's the sort of thing that might interest a geologist. We've mentioned that you can prepare for a career in geology. Now let's take a closer look at some of the things you'll study if this is your choice. Here some students are studying a map indicating soil types. Perhaps the soil of the roadbed needed special treatment. That's the sort of thing a geologist can tell you. What about the history of the earth, or where can you find oil? Geologists who study fossils like these can tell you something about that, too. Oil companies employ many geologists to help them in determining proper sites for drilling. You can use rocks for other things besides throwing. Ever hear of Carthage limestone, for example? These rock hounds are getting plenty of information about the types of rocks and minerals. They may be the ones who discover the next big source of lead, iron, or aluminum. Better yet, using this Geiger counter, they may discover uranium. That counter looks like something that belongs in physics, doesn't it? This might be a good time to bring up a point with which you are already familiar. That is, you can't separate the sciences. A geologist has to know some physics, as we see. Certainly, he has to know some mathematics. That's why you want to get all the science you can before you begin your college career. And that's why, after you start to school, you will probably want to minor in one science while majoring in another. Here's another example of non-separation of sciences. This is Mr. Matthews of MFA. He's the chemist in charge of the production control laboratory. To know what the cow needs involves biology, and to see that she gets it is a matter of chemistry. It would be difficult to say whether these people testing feed were biologists or chemists. As you see here, the food is being analyzed for fat content and for nitrogen content. After your career in science, you'll know these methods and what is more important, the principles behind them so that you'll be able to properly interpret results. This is somewhat more on the biological side. This man is checking to see that adequate amounts of antibiotics have been added to the food.
This brings us to bacteriology, and here we see more of this phase of biology in action at the MFA Milling Company. Bacteriology may be one of the careers in science for you. This girl is taking bacteriology as part of her nurse's training, in which Southwest Missouri State cooperates with St. John's Hospital. Bacteriology courses are offered for regular students as well. Not only can you use this education in bacteriology at MFA, but you will find plenty of other opportunities. Another example might be the production end of the dairy industry. What do scientists do at a dairy? We'll show you as soon as we unload these cans at Producers Creamery. Bacteriology again. You want good milk? Let's test it to make sure. Here a trained bacteriologist is plating milk samples so we can see how many bacteria are present. Can you count the colonies here? Not only bacteria are important to milk, but food value as well. So here are some fat determinations. And here are some protein determinations. Is this man a chemist or a biologist? Here's one thing we can't help you with. If you don't already like ice cream, the SMS Science Department can offer no suggestion so that you will. What does a career in biology involve besides bacteriology? We'll take a look. Here's the General Physiology Laboratory. This chymograph is recording the beat of the frog's heart. That pattern is characteristic. Not only do we find out about the frog, but the principles learned may be applied to other animals. You have to know something about anatomy, too, if you want to be a doctor, veterinarian, lab technician, mortician, physiotherapist, or a member of any of the occupations related to biology. That's why these student scientists are dissecting the frog and the rat. We've seen a nurse before and mentioned the program involving SMS and St. John's Hospital. Now take a closer look at some of the other things they study. Scope to study material. It's a pleasure to be sick with her for a nurse. These girls are learning about blood pressure, how to take it, where to take it, and the anatomical reasons for taking it where you do. Not cookbook style, but principles, again, are important to the trained scientist. The same is true of this lesson on hypodermic injections. Ouch! 
Even the thought hurts. Now you know where you get it and why you get it where you do. Nurses make you think of hospitals, and hospitals make you think of lots of careers in science. Some of them we've mentioned before. Here are some of them in action at St. John's Hospital. Dr. Collar is another who has chosen a career in science. He is the pathologist in charge of the hospital laboratory. These are medical technologists working in the laboratory at the hospital. Here's how to make a blood count. If you're interested in a career as a medical technologist, we are affiliated with St. John's Hospital, and it is possible to obtain a BS degree in science at SMS with a major in medical technology. We hope, incidentally, that you've deposited some blood in the blood bank here, or somewhere else. Here is the nurse's station. We've seen some of the work they did in preparing for their career. As soon as we get the proper directions, we'll go to the operating room to see how nurses and surgeons cooperate in their careers. Everything has to be sterile. That's bacteriology, a phase of biology. One of the ways to make it so is through a knowledge of chemistry. The patient has received x-rays, which are a matter of physics. Geologists and geographers are responsible for the instruments and building, for they help locate the minerals and materials from which they are made. And as the surgeon makes the incision, you know that he has spent many years studying all phases of science and preparation for his career. Back to school again, and something important that we don't want to forget. These three girls are probably discussing it. It was important. You don't spend all of the time in class, and SMS has many extracurricular activities, costume dances such as this. Formal dances like this one and many others. Sororities, fraternities, organized independence, and curricular clubs are available for your leisure time activity. You get to be homecoming queen. Being a girl is the first requirement. Intercollegiate competition is available not only in football, but basketball, track, golf, and tennis as well. There are musical organizations that you may want to join. The music in the background, for instance, is the concert band. These are high school bands, and they represent you as of now. Take a good look. You may even see yourself.
If you're in high school now and plan a career in science, start or continue your preparation. And we'll see you here at the administration building next fall or some fall soon.